Hey everybody, welcome to, um, well I don't know if this is going to be a full episode in itself or this is just going to be a little update that I'm going to cut off, make its own thing. Um, it depends on how long this goes, um, also depends if I have anything to talk about after this. And at the current moment I don't think I do, but um, I need to address something. Uh, first off, trigger warning, because I didn't, I didn't put that in the first one. And there's some people, I don't know who watches this. They might think, oh, oh, trigger warning, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Trigger warnings are very, very serious. They are needed. Trigger and caution warnings are a good thing. And the word trigger comes from when they started uh, figuring out what PTSD was back in the Vietnam War, back when it was called shell shock. It was, these were words, images, sounds, anything that would trigger a soldier's PTSD in a way which would result in flashbacks, violent outbursts, um, breakdowns, etc., so, for anyone who wants to try to make fun of that, go fuck yourself. You're making fun of soldiers. And even if you weren't, you're making fun of people who have suffered some sort of trauma. It's real. Don't make fun of it. It's not funny. So, uh, if that sounds very serious, well, it's about to get a little more serious. Um, because originally this was going to be a little update to um, maybe specify a little more what I meant in that last video. Um, some things that I said that maybe didn't come off. Uh, right a commenter uh, pointed out something uh, that I need to address and then then Jeff Jeff Ramsey got accused um, not necessarily of abusing or using people but of knowing about what Ryan uh, was doing um, and we'll get to that here in a little bit. Um, before that, uh, I guess before I move on, I'll say that I read his statement. He actually came out and gave a statement immediately. Um, and I don't know, it sounds, sounds, it's a, it's a, it's a letter. It sounds, it reads a little bit more legit than the other two statements. It has a hell of a lot more legit than anything Ryan has said or written and feels better than what Adam said, um, Mainly because instead of admitting to some vague thing, he was like, I did this, 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 and this during a point in time in my life, and this, 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 whatever, but I never knew about any, anything going on with Ryan or the horrible details, but we'll get into that in a second. Uh, the update that I was going to do, which may become its own podcast, this whole thing might become its own deal, uh, was regarding a comment from Cloud Queen over on YouTube, who said he had, when I'm talking about Ryan, because I had said, um, a few times that these were technically consensual um and um because i was just trying to frame it and get my thoughts out there um though i did say technically um but i, I need to elaborate more on that because that doesn't go far enough um this person told me he's like he had sex with the women and choked them among other things it's documented by the victims on twitter he took condoms off with with all but one when they asked him to wear one that's not that's not consensual he was rough with virgins who were literally torn apart i liked this comment and responded uh two times to follow up and then made this video i'm not defending ryan haywood in any way uh form or fashion and i need it to be understood uh by technical consent i meant that his victims technically agreed however minors cannot consent I know the age varies on uh, on state to state, but who gives a shit about what the law says? It's, this is about moral things. A minor cannot consent. Um, and even if someone does consent, uh, almost all of his victims were suffering of some mental illness or disorder. Um, they were all fans. He used that power to coerce them. Coercion is rape, period. When you rape someone, you don't just have to beat them up, hold them down, hold a gun or knife to their head or whatever, and then fuck them. No, it's a lot more involved than that. Sexual assault is more involved than that. He did those things. He is a sexual assault assaulter. He is a rapist. He is a sexual predator. He is an abuser and a manipulator. All of those horrible things he did. If at any point in time during a sexual act, if the person tells you to stop and you don't, you are a rapist. I don't mean you keep going and go, oh shit, stop, because you're in the moment. I mean they just say, they ignore you and keep going. That person raped you. At any point in time, if they made you do something against your will, at any point in time, they raped you. 
They assaulted you because they didn't care how you felt. They didn't care about anything about consent. They cared about getting their rocks off and that was it. If a person tries to take a condom off while having sex without your knowledge or permission and you find out, do whatever you can to get the fuck away. Now I understand, especially with most of these women, a lot smaller, not nearly as strong as him. Just because you're a woman doesn't mean you can't be strong. I'm talking purely about the women that were with him. He had height and weight on them. It's probably not the best fight. He also had power, and he could have ruined their lives. All this was probably going through their head. So they couldn't fight back. And then all the other bullshit that he put in their head. Just because someone doesn't fight back does not mean that a horrible act is not occurring. It means that they are trying to save their life. Sometimes, the smartest thing to do is to just lay there. But just because someone lays there does not mean they are not raped. I want that to be very clear. My thoughts were not clear on the matter because I was confused and I was rambling and I was hurt because of being a fan of these people and that particular person. Since 2012, it hurt me having gone to charity events, having worked for these people, having seen them and hung out and done all of this. It hurt me. It hurt me as a fan. Nowhere near the the way it hurt the victims, but it hurt as a fan that I had supported this monster. I'd given them money. I'd subscribed to their Twitch streams and stuff like that. So I was trying to get that pain through. But do not mistake any of what I said for defending him or saying that his victims were involved in this or um, he doesn't deserve all this vitriol. He absolutely does. He is a rapist. He should pay the consequences. And not just him. If this has ever happened to you and any of those if any of those things tick that box or something's happened to you, you were raped. If that's a horrible realization to come to, I'm sorry. But we need to understand that. There's a rape culture in this nation that is horrible. We don't believe victims. And then when it's proven true, we're more likely to help the victimizer, the abuser, than the victim. Those are facts. And I'm tired of it. And I'm ashamed at myself that I did not point this out in that video. All of these so-called consensual acts were not. Not fully. He manipulated, coerced, and abused them. That is not consensual. Tricking someone into consent is not consent. You tricked them. You hurt them. You use them. You're a piece of shit and you get what's coming to you. That needs to be very clear. This isn't a man who just screwed around on his wife. That would be bad enough. That would suck. But that you could come back from. He used his power, his fame, his ability to manipulate and abuse and rape people. I'm guilty of thinking of, of rape as a purely physical act in terms of like an assault and like jumping on someone holding them down. It is not just that. There's a lot more layers to it. He's a rapist statutorily. He's a rapist physically. The only thing he didn't do, what, from what we know, is threaten someone's life. Until now, he has made threats of towards his own life that if people were to come out with all this information, the horrible things he would do, that he would kill himself or some other bullshit, blah, blah, blah. He's still talking to people through burner accounts and whatnot. The man's a piece of shit. He is a monster. This is not someone that was just too horny for their own good. This is a serial abuser. This is a rapist. I'm glad that it didn't get to that full physical thing. The, the gun, the knife. Because you know how that ends? It ends in murder. At least these people are still alive. Thank God. But I want it to be very clear. This is not something that needs to be shrugged off. This is not something that, oh, it just happened. No. He is an abuser. He is a rapist. End of story. But the Adam stuff, we don't know a whole lot. We know he cheated on his wife. And we know that he's probably guilty of California's revenge porn laws because he sent nude pictures and video of his wife in intimate acts without her knowledge to other people. Yes, not as fucked up as what Ryan did, 
in terms of raping people, but he did have sexual video and acts and pictures of his wife and sent them to other people without their knowledge. That's fucked up. That's fucked up in a vastly different way. That's fucked up. That's really hard to come back from. That's beyond just cheating. There's all kinds of reasons people cheat. All kinds of reasons. I think one of the reasons is how we demonize sex in society and a bunch of other shit. Sexual frustration is a real thing. But sexual frustration does not in any way, shape, form, or fashion justify what Adam did. And it does not ever justify anything close to what Ryan did. Who used, by the way, the excuse of sexual frustration to get with all these women. He kept, he told all these women how he was so frustrated and how his wife never had sex and yada, 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 yada. And he used that to get sympathy from them to where he manipulated them. He used the sympathy, the power, and everything in order to fuck them. And I can't stress this enough. Most of them were minors and were also suffering from mental disorders and illnesses. He had a type. He picked the easiest prey. And I know that sounds bad. It is not the victim's fault. I need that to be very clear. This is not the victim's fault. They were used and abused and manipulated. Not their fault. It has never been their fault. But he knew who he was going after. He wanted the path of least resistance. He took it. And I want that to be very clear. He is a rapist. Most of the people he was with were virgins. And he took no care to what that, to what that meant. To where a lot of them were like, well, you know, it hurt because I was a virgin and I expected that, but he got way too rough. Let me explain something. I know this is going to sound weird coming from a guy, but, um, no. Sex is not supposed to hurt even if you are a virgin. It can if someone is too fucking rough and a piece of shit, an asshole. Or they get too carried away, you know, because dumb kids are dumb. It happens. But... You know, when, you, when you've been married for a while, <laughs> or in any, any relationship for a while, you also come to this knowledge, or you should, that it can hurt like hell, even if you're not a virgin. If you're just going too rough, and then your wife has to smack shit out of you and go, stop, and you go, oh, I'm sorry, uh, idiot. Okay, my, my bad. All right, well, let's, let's work on this and do something else. Okay, and then it's ready. There's a reason lube exists. You know, and other stuff. There's a reason foreplay is a thing. Um, you know, it... it <laughs> now, fuck it. Let's just get into the details. So, you have to get wet. The whole reason a vagina gets wet, by the way, is so is for that act. It only gets wet, it loosens up. Same thing when you're a virgin. But, since you are a virgin, and you're not you don't know anything, and you haven't had those feelings, someone does have to be extra gentle. Because they can hurt you because you don't know what you're doing. And not only hurt you, but you can hurt them. Did you know if you move too fast in one direction, you can snap a dude's dick in half? That is a real thing that can happen. I've seen it. It's horrible and terrifying. <laughs> uh, it didn't happen to me, but I've had, I had, I've had a few instances where I thought it happened. You move too fast one direction, they move the other way, and then you slam, and then, you know, you, it does not feel good. Um, it does not feel good at all. Um, that can happen. You got to be gentle in this act to begin with. Even with something like, quote-unquote, rough sex, does not equal just fucking, fucking someone until they bleed. That's not what that means. They still have that lead-up time. And it's still consensual. Sensual. Yes, those people with the whips and the chains still have consent. If the person they're doing shit to says, Oh, right, hold on, that's enough. Guess what that person does? They stop. Yeah, the person that looks like fucking Pinhead from Hellblazer, they stop. Oh, my bad. Okay. We'll wait. They go, oh, that hurts. Because it's not, it's not about hurting them. Like, a lot, we get a lot of that shit mixed up. What Ryan did was not any of that. He was not just having rough sex. He was 
just getting himself off and not caring about his partner because none of this was consensual. And he was doing it to virgins because they didn't know any better and they thought that's how that was supposed to be. That adds another layer to his manipulation. That's how that works. That's how evil people are. He hurt some of these girls so bad that they hurt for weeks and or months in some of the cases that I've read. The statements that I've read. I didn't read a lot of the chat logs because it hurt too damn much. Um, and I got to a point where I would skim through a lot of these statements because it hurt. It brings up some of my own triggers, my own flashbacks and shit. That stuff that happened to me when I was a kid. Horrible shit, by the way. And when you see someone that you look up to, that you've seen every day... This is not just like an actor or someone in a TV show. These videos are released every day. Multiple videos every day since 2012. This is someone that has kind of been in my life for a while that I looked up to them. I didn't idolize them. I didn't hold them up on a, a pedestal and thing and they can do no wrong. But I sure as hell didn't think they could do this. And then they went off and did it. And that hurts. But I apologize for not being clear with my thoughts on that. I apologize for maybe making it seem less than what it was because it's just as bad as it sounds. All right, back from that phone call that came right at the end of that last sentence. Um, let's try to figure out how to way to end this. Uh, this will probably just be an update video. I can talk about the Jeff stuff in a full-on episode, which I'll record right after this. But yes, I, I, I did not mean to make it sound less than what it was, if that's what I did. Thank you to Cloud Queen and anyone else who pointed it out. I read the comments. I respond to them. But a reply isn't enough, so I made this update video. So just to reiterate, he is an abuser. He is a rapist. He has sexually assaulted these women. He hurt them. He abused them and traumatized them. He's a piece of shit and a monster. It's hard to come to grips with that. But hopefully, we can move forward. But moving forward does not mean forgetting this. We can forget him. Like, fuck him. Forget him. Don't forget what he did. Don't forget how he did it. That way we can not only better ourselves, but we can watch over our own community. And we can save other people. Other friends. Other fans. We could save them from this. So if we hear about this, because in a lot of these statements I've read that some friends knew about it. There is a groupie culture in a lot of different mediums. Not just with YouTube, but it exists in everything. Um, it exists in just about anything that has a, a level of fame to it. We can stop that. We can go, hey, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound good. Maybe we shouldn't do this. Maybe, you know, there are ways. And I believe it's con conduct at roosterteeth.com. Um, that is like the email that Jack was telling people to go to if they had any more stories, anything else they need to tell. Maybe that they were too afraid to um, come out put publicly. Um, and even if you had put it publicly, give it to Rooster Teeth. Um, I know it's hard to trust them right now, and there's a lot of reasons we shouldn't. But this one person doing this, or these two people doing this, does not equal the company's fault. Even their CEO doing some fucked up shit. Uh, or not CEO, uh, one of the full screen guys tried to kill his wife. Horrible piece of shit, um, but that the company didn't exactly sanction that. Um, they didn't sanction this either. This is not a company problem. The company problem is if they knew about it and didn't do anything about it. A company problem is if they don't do anything about it now. They don't try to make this better, like we've heard about some issues with racism. That's a company problem. However, the company is trying to reach out and trying to get as much information as they can so that they can stop this from happening again and work on the current case. Because I guarantee you there is a court case being brewed right now. S there will be repercussions. I don't know how much. Because again, we're dealing with white people. <laughs> um, one of whom is in the state of Texas. We know how that rolls. Especially when it has to do with anything involving sex. They kind of just give the benefit of the doubt to the guy. Talked about rape culture earlier. That's just how that is. Doesn't make it right. Doesn't mean we shouldn't fight against it. But I don't expect a lot of repercussions. But I do expect the company to come after him in some form or fashion. Which could include blacklisting him. Making sure that he can't do this 
or get a fan base anywhere else. Rooster Teeth has pretty good connections with Twitch. If he wants to Twitch stream, Twitch could literally stop that from ever happening. Like, no, you did this. You don't get to Twitch stream anymore. You don't get to have a YouTube. You don't get to have, you know, there are ways that we can stop this from happening. From him ever getting a fan base and hurting them again. There were some people who knew him in college that came out and said this has been going on for like 15 years. Not necessarily going after minors, but going after younger women. And manipulating them and cheating on his, at the time, girlfriend. Who is now, his, well, probably won't be his wife for much longer. But yeah. I hope there's some repercussions of this. But one thing I want to make very clear to anyone hearing this. Do not, any way, go after his family. His wife did nothing wrong. Neither did his kids. They don't need threats. They don't need anything. And if you know people or you see people who are harassing his family, doxing him or any of that, because it doesn't just hurt him. Who gives a shit about what happens to him? It's about his kids, his two young kids and his wife who did nothing wrong. They're already going through hell. They don't need death threats. If you see that shit, stop it. Knock it the fuck out. That We can do that. Because, you know, maybe most of them don't mean anything. But there are a few that do. But when you're on the other end of that, you don't know that. So, if you see some dumb kid just trying to harass him for, you know, the lulls, uh, tell him to knock it the fuck off. Report them. Do whatever you can. Other than that, be safe. Very trying times these days. Uh, I think I'm going to talk about the Jeff stuff in a, a full-length episode, so I'm going to cut it here. Um, I don't know what I'm going to title this. Um, and then the full-length episode that I'll, I'll record after this. I'll probably upload this on the same day. Um, I'll talk about the Jeff stuff because it's not as depressing and there's a little bit more I could talk about it. But this is mainly to address the, uh, the mainly to address last week's podcast. Because I wanted to do it in a video and not just some comment that someone may never see. Just so you know where I stood and actually mean. To reiterate, he's a rapist. This was not consensual. He hurt these poor girls. And it is not their fault. It is 100% Ryan Haywood's fault. He hurt them. He hurt us. He betrayed everyone. That's all I have to say about that.